Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In my previous video, I showed how to get 100,000 image generations for free. In this video, I'll show you how to get 100,000 text generation API calls for free. You can use powerful models like OpenAI's 120 billion parameter model, Meta's 70 billion parameter Llama model, or Mistral's 7 billion parameter model for tasks like content generation, chatbots, and more. Let's get started. First, log into your Cloudflare dashboard. Then, from the main menu on the left, click on Compute to expand the dropdown and select Workers and Pages. Next, click on Create. Then, under the Start with Hello World option, click on Get Started. Now, give your worker a name. This name will be used to create the URL for your API, so make sure it's relevant. After that, click on Deploy to finalize it. If you open the newly created worker URL, you'll see Hello World. It might take some time to show up. Now, click on Continue to Project, and we'll proceed with the configuration. First, we need to add AI binding so that we can use it in our worker code. To do this, go to the Bindings section. Click on Add Binding. Then go to the Workers AI tab, and click on Add Binding again. Next, give the variable a name, AI. Make sure the name is in uppercase, as we've used AI in the code. After that, we'll set up the API key to access our AI API. To do this, go to Settings, scroll down to Variables and Secrets, click on Add, then select the type as Secret. For the variable name, use API underscore key all uppercase. Under the Value field, enter your own API key that you'll use when making requests. Finally, click on Deploy to apply the changes. It's time to edit the code now, so click on the Edit Code icon in the top right corner of the dashboard. Clear the default Hello World code and replace it with the code I'll provide in the GitHub repo. You can find the link in the description. Copy code from worker.js and paste it in Cloudflare worker code. After that, click on Deploy and open the URL in a new tab. You should see an authorized JSON. If that's the case, everything is working fine. Now, we will test the API. To do that, right-click on the web page and click on Inspect. Go to Console tab and open the README file. You'll find curl and JavaScript code there to test the API endpoint. For now, we will test with JavaScript. Copy the relevant part of the code from the README and paste it into your browser's console. In the code, replace the URL with your API URL. Since we are on the same API endpoint page, you can just use a slash as the URL. Also, replace API key with your actual API key and hit enter. Here, you can pass the conversation history to maintain context, provide system instructions to the AI, and set the prompt. Let me show you by setting the system prompt too. Your name is Kiki, a helpful assistant bot. Now, once you've set that, ask the bot its name. It should respond accordingly. Now let's try asking something else, like what is computer? And you can see that the answer is perfect. Make sure you know that the prompt is compulsory, while the system prompt and conversation history are optional. Everything is detailed in the readme file. Testing the API from the console might get a bit boring, so let me show you what I made. A simple chatbot with Santa's character. Before we jump into the demo, let me quickly explain the code behind it. First, we have a function that takes the request and environment variables. It extracts the API key from the environment and the URL and authorization key from the request. We perform a simple check to compare the past authorization key with the one stored in the environment. Next, we check that the request method is post and that the request is made to the root URL. After confirming these checks, we enter a try-catch block. Here, we parse the request body to extract the prompt, system prompt, and history. If the prompt is missing, we return a 400 error, otherwise, we continue. In the comments, you'll find a list of available models you can use. You can find more models in the documentation, and all you need to do is replace the model name in the model variable. Then, we initialize the messages array which holds everything from the system instruction to the user's prompt and the history. 
we pass these to the AI to maintain context. We make a request to the chosen model with the messages, then return the generated text to the user. If anything goes wrong, we catch the error and return a 500 status code with the error message. Finally, we have a simple JSON function to send the response back to the user with the appropriate status code. Now, let's take a look at the example code. In this code, you just need to replace the API URL and API key to make it work. You can also set your own system information as needed. I'll be sharing this example on GitHub, but keep in mind, this is not for production use, since it exposes the API key in the front end. For a production-ready chatbot, you'd need to use a separate backend to keep your API key secure. What is your name? Ho ho ho, my name is Sonic. Do you remember me? Of course I do, my child. What do you want for this Christmas? I need subscribers, Santa.